Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here, and if you've ever wondered how the maps fit together in EFT, then this video is for you. The way that the various maps in the game are planned to be joined together is some of my favourite world building and immersion in Escape from Tarkov, so let's dive in and take a look. First off, the only world map that we have to look at in Tarkov is wrong and kind of misleading. This is the one that comes up when you're choosing a map to go to via the regular menus to start a raid. This map selection screen appears to have been sourced from an older Contract Wars map as you can see here, which is much clearer but follows the same overall layout with, I suppose, some early ideas of what Tarkov and its surrounding areas might look like. The scale is out and things don't really make sense on it, like woods, we'd expect to see a large road passing through it somewhere which we don't see obviously, and we also know that factory and customs are much closer together than how it appears on this version. Given this is still probably a placeholder to be updated on release, the broad structure is roughly correct but it doesn't give us too many clues versus what we see in game. Many people over the years have tried to put together a world map in a better way, and there are two maps that I like the most, one by Kamiyama on Reddit which is a pretty accurate description of where things are believed to be, while still using the in-game maps as much as possible to which I added Lighthouse myself. The other one is from Last Nick Left which is the most visually pleasing as it has everything in the same style, although there are a few corrections to both based on what we can see in-game currently. One thing that messes up a lot of people is that many of the in-game maps are upside down. Before the compass was added, this meant that most of the player made maps on the wiki were created in the same direction as the in game maps, which makes sense, such as the classic customs map. Most longer time players are so used to the various maps with south at the top, and so this continues to be the way the community sees these for the most part. For an overview, though, with the addition of the compass, we can know the direction of north facing easily for all maps, and this makes the whole picture way easier to put together. A perfect place to start is interestingly with a map that doesn't exist yet, which is Terminal. From what we know so far, this is intended to be the final location in Tarkov's story where you might actually be able to leave. Often mistaken in the community for an airport terminal, this is actually a port and one of the corrections on this map as Terminal sits at the southern easternmost point of Shoreline. At the moment we can only see into Terminal from Shoreline, but we know some extra information about the entrance as it's also very recognisable from the live action series The Raid that was produced by Battlestate. Heavily fortified with concrete walls and mounted machine guns on outposts, this location is likely to be extremely hard to get into. Terminal can be viewed externally from the side too, from the small lighthouse at pier or on the shore and is bigger than I had thought when I first looked for it properly a while back. On the in-game map it's cut off so we only see a tiny portion of the front. Viewed from the outside it looks to be fairly expansive as a CQB style map with lots of industrial warehouses and machinery. Right next to Terminal is also a rail bridge that connects Terminal to the rest of Tarkov and this area has undergone somewhat of a rework relatively recently, extending the wall around and giving a proper opening for the trains to move in and out of the port, as well as being an additional extract road at rail bridge along with the old CCP temporary extract further along the wall. As for the rest of Shoreline, the resort is a dead giveaway as to its orientation due to the east and west wings being correctly labelled and places the sea in the south and the old rock passage extract that was recently removed in the north. The road from Terminal takes you up to the Road to Customs extract, which when combining these maps together shows us that the river on the far east of Shoreline is the same river that goes past Big Red with the main bridge on Customs as well. It's also very likely that the road that finishes at Sniper Roadblock on Customs technically connects to this Road to Customs extract road as well on Shoreline, and that the train tracks that we see leaving Terminal run past Big Red too, as they're on the other side of the river, and this would all make sense as Customs is likely to be the next port of call for cargo after arriving at the Terminal in the first place in the pre-downfall Tarkov. Right above the resort, where the river runs out of the mountains, one of the most iconic map-to-map -map landmarks is visible, which is the Reserve Dome, and some of the surrounding buildings. This tells us the orientation of Reserve, with the dome in the south, which again makes most of the community-made maps the wrong way up. As usual, this is because the in-game official map was produced this way around originally. There are a couple of other places where you can see the watchtowers on Reserve if you travel to the west, and it's also possible to sneak a peek of the top of the suspension bridge in the far northwest, which has become a pretty big landmark overall in the world map as it features heavily on Lighthouse as we will see despite it being very far away. The new extract path to Lighthouse is an easy one as the extract is very wide and mirrors this portion of the map on Shoreline and Lighthouse. This allows us to link up two sides of each map, and also down by the tunnel area we now know that this joins to Lighthouse as well in the south. One interesting thing about this is that the extract we can take using the path around the edge of the tunnel on Shoreline links through to the free extract on Lighthouse and it looks to me that the side tunnel extract on Lighthouse represents the other end of the real tunnel through the mountain rather than it curving around to the road like it's described on some of the maps. Finally, if we go to Scav Island we can't see anything past the tunnel itself because the lighthouse is too far around the corner and there is another island in the way. From the lighthouse side of the map, we can see down onto Scav Island fairly easily from the rocks, and turning around, it's easy to see why we can't spot the lighthouse from this location. Lighthouse, the map, rounds off what we know so far about Reserve and Shoreline. We can see the large broken bridge clearly in the distance to the north from almost anywhere, which presumably was destroyed in the conflict to prevent Tarkov connecting to the built-up area on the other side of the water. 
The lighthouse side of Path to Shoreline Extract appears halfway up, which helps us to pinpoint exactly the size and location of lighthouse between the tunnel and Path to Shoreline Extracts. One interesting thing slightly to the north of this is that we can see a railway line in the reserve direction in the east, which makes sense as both maps have an armoured train extraction, as well as the military base vehicle extract on the eastern side of Lighthouse, which pretty much goes straight from here and into reserve up the road that leads to Dome. We can again see the reserve Dome from the northern end of Lighthouse and also some watchtowers too. The issue with Lighthouse overall is that there are some invisible barriers along most of its eastern edge, which prevents us from looking over and seeing the rest of the map from a great vantage point. This is a real shame, but never mind. Moving on to Reserve, we can see back into Shoreline from Dome, with the resort obviously visible from our vantage point. Also, turning around, the skyscrapers of Streets are visible from here up in the distant north, and we're effectively looking at this over the top of Customs. Across to Lighthouse in the northwest, we can see the suspension bridge on the horizon, and travelling further west ourselves, we can look back and see the wall that goes around the northwest of Shoreline towards the path to Lighthouse Extract. Again on the west side, the train that leaves Reserve as expected curves to the north, and very likely is the line that we saw in the distance from Lighthouse before. If we move to the northernmost section of reserve, we can see a few places that connect with customs. We can see out of the compound and along the road leading to the military base checkpoint, past a few buildings in the inaccessible area between the maps. It's not immediately obvious, but from this side you can recognise some of the rocky areas that sit around the edge of customs in the hilly area with the pylons. The telecoms mast gives us another reference point which is very close to dorms on the customs side. A little bit further along, you can see the train crash section from Customs through the railroad to military base scav extract with the crates and trains visible fairly clearly from reserve, although notably without the fencing that prevents you from travelling through it when we're on the other side. Moving on to Customs, looking back we can see where we just came from, with the residential buildings between reserve and Customs most visible. Up by the cache near the edge of the map, we can look through and spy the dome too. Streets can be seen when crossing over the main bridge and looking northeast, which links with the railroad to Tarkov scav extract along the real northern side of the map, and as we said before should run all the way down to Terminal in the south. Interchange can be seen from Trailer Park, or at least the beginning of the broader mall complex. Many people think that this is the actual interchange, but the warehouse identified as idea here cannot be the real one because of the orientation of the map. On interchange itself, Ollie would be the first store in the south. This implies that the actual interchange map is a bit further up, and when we move on to interchange we'll see that there is at least one warehouse outside the map boundary on the southern side. One of my favourite parts of the customs expansion is that Factory is now very visible. This can easily be seen in the area around Old Gas Station and also along the northernmost edge of the area near Fortress. The distinctive shape of Factory actually lets us determine the orientation of the map and its extracts. This made more sense before the factory expansion was added, but gate 3 is over here, cellars is under forklifts here, and gate 0 is on this end. The new extract med tent gates should be on this side even though factory is a bit wider now than implied on the in-game map, and if you were to jump out of the office window you'd end up over here. The main road that runs through most of customs and past new gas station in the middle loops around to the side and into woods which is most visible from the west side of customs. Flipping over to woods then, we move north slightly and start on the other side of this road. The factory zone of customs can be seen over the wall and is a distinctive landmark on this map running along the whole side of the road between RUAF gate and the UN roadblock. This has the factory gate scav and PMC extract with a train track running into the factory area of customs and looping round to the old station before disappearing off into the distance. On the other side of the water we have our extract outskirts which is presumably the road that leads off into town. We can't actually see anything from here, but is described on the wiki as a small town by the seaside and is broadly represented in this direction by the in-game world map. For the most part, streets and the suspension bridge are not visible because of the two mountains in the way on either side, but we can see streets from some parts of the northern edge of the map and down by the UN roadblock at least. It's also possible to see something in the distance that looks like it could be interchange and a large raised road bridge, or at the very least this is the industrial suburb of streets itself. Moving finally onto Interchange as our last map with landmarks, we can see streets easily as Interchange is the northernmost map that we can walk outside on currently. As we said earlier, there are some warehouses visible between Customs and Interchange, exactly how many or whether this one is supposed to be the building that can be seen from Customs is not quite clear. One of the train tracks runs along the southern edge of Interchange over the bridge which blocks this road off and another train track comes in from the south, potentially the same one from Big Red which leads via the railway extract towards streets. Along the northern side we have a very large main road that is raised up, and over by Power Station we have another road that runs vertically underneath this along the eastern side of Interchange outside of the map area and leads under a tunnel towards streets again, which should be where Suburbs eventually is placed. Very little is known about Suburbs at the moment, other than it should be located around the outside of streets, presumably linking together Interchange and Streets of Tarkov. 
The only map we haven't talked about really is labs, and this location is within streets somewhere but hidden and underground, which is clear from the labelled floors with negative numbers, underground car parks and lifts as extracts, and is planned to have secret entrances from factory and streets, but none of which are in the game yet. Exactly how this fits into the overall picture remains to be seen, but once we get Streets of Tarkov, which is planned to be the largest and most ambitious map so far in EFT's history, with more playable area than all the other maps put together when finished, more of the pieces will likely fit together. So overall we have Terminal that leads into Shoreline, Lighthouse off in the west with Reserve linking Shoreline and Customs in the middle. Customs contains Factory and leads directly into Woods and likely Town, with Interchange a small way off in the north and finally the route to Streets through Suburbs. I'm excited to finally see it when it all comes together. As usual, if you learnt something please consider dropping a like and a comment. To see when I'm streaming, you can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Check out our Scab Talk podcast in the links below, and with all that said, I'll see you next time, and as always, have fun in your raids.